Let's so it's Sunday, November 24th. I'm sure you can hear the wind. We are out at the very tip of Long Island in East Marion at Bill Huckel's house where we loaded this really excellent 1957-15 foot century Palomino that we will be restoring. We got her original engine. She's really in remarkable condition, remarkable condition. And so she starts her trip to Snake Mountain Boat Works in Weybridge. In a few months, uh, we will be taking other videos of her as she regains her. Well, we drove a total of uh, 742 miles yesterday to bring this uh, Palomino home. It's now Monday morning, November 25th. I came in late last night, made the trip down and back in one day, but it was worth it. She's going to be uh, really a special boat when we finish her. And right now we're going to start unloading. We're hampered a little bit by this false sunshine. It's nine degrees in Weybridge, Vermont right now at Snake Mountain Boat Works. Well, she's off her trailer. And the first thing I'd like to share is the hull number, which is stamped right into her transom. This uh, aft bay will be painted pure white. Both the bow flag and the stern pole flag are original, but as you can see, uh, the years have taken their toll. We will save these flags for this Palomino's next owners but they're going to have to, they must be replaced. The aft deck and the fore deck are both Avadir and will be bleached blonde as they were originally. The upholstery is in pretty good shape, but it's begun to show its age and particularly the seat curtain cushions have cracks in them. Uh, my plan is to save the original seats and the original upholstery for the next owner, but to have new upholstery manufactured. We'll make all six new seats so that the old ones are still available, the original ones. The uh, crash pad around the cockpit is just in excellent shape. She has her correct Atwood steering wheel, correct start controls, and correct running and shifting controls. Here's the important and telltale spade foot on the starboard end of the windshield frame. We've seen Palominos with both this long stripe trailing back from the century hull plate and also without. Uh, in my experience, the, the stripe is original and correct. Some people call these the black topside Palominos. Others call them the Holstein Palominos. Uh, we'll take it either way. We're just really, really excited to have met Bill Huckel. Uh, to have made the trip to East Marion and back. Well, that wasn't so much fun, but actually the trip home was pretty exciting because I kept looking in the rearview mirror and this really incredible Palomino was always right behind me. Thank goodness. Uh, we encountered some amazing crosswinds. Uh, I looked at the weather out in Long Island. Uh, the winds were approaching, uh, the gusts were approaching 50 miles an hour. But we had her well tied down, well secured. And now we will be moving her into storage until next spring when we'll have other projects completed and we can bring her in and make her look even better than she did the day she left the factory.